Welcome to CRM Crew, my name is Nick and in today's quick tutorial I'm going to be explaining how to import data into monday.com. So once you log into monday.com of course you'll come to the home screen. Now in, in order to import data into your monday.com system go to workspaces up the top left hand corner here and then we want to go to add which is just below the workspace option press add and then go to import data and then as you can see here we have an array of different options we've got a few competitors uh, of project management systems like asana um, and we've also got google sheets excel csv etc in this quick video i'm just going to do excel slash csv so select that and then what you need to do is either click to browse or just drag your file um, into the dropbox like i have just done there and then we need to customize your new board. So press let's customize your new board. And then firstly, monday.com is going to ask you to select the first row. So obviously the first row is usually the row that contains the headings. So first name, last name, email, as you can see. So that's our first row. And then I'm going to press next. And then you need to select your first column. So that, that can be any of them. But obviously the first column is usually the first column. So the first name. And then once you've selected that, just press the next button again. And then as you can see here, this is automatically filled out as this is the item name. So the item name is the item name in monday.com. And then the last name you can select as a text column as this is identified that this is a text column and that will only give us that option. And then we've got the email as well. So that's um, set that as an email column, but you can change that to a text column if you so wish. However, there is no need to. So as you can see here, I've got the item name, which is already set and the text column and the email column. Once you've gone through, and obviously this is very small, this is only mock data. So all of this is a, a false information. Once you have gone through and you can have numerous different, um, numerous different column types, work through them all from your Excel uh, or CSV. And then once you've done that, just press the create board button. So as you can see here, I've now created the create board button. And this has loaded up that relevant information. So that has now imported it. So as you can see here on the left hand side, I've got the first name and that is obviously the item name. And then on the right, you've got the last name and the email. So that data has now been imported into the system. Now it does look a little bit messy at the moment, but we can go ahead and make suitable changes like change last name without the underscore, remove the uh, put a capital E for email. We can make this smaller if we just drag it across like so. You can see you can resize the column and you can just work through and make it all look a little bit better. Now it's not uncommon that when you import, import data into any uh, system, it, you know, it, it doesn't look exactly how you're anticipating. So just work through it. You will have to put a bit of time in it, but hopefully that gives you a good understanding of how to import data into your monday.com system. I hope this video has clearly explained how to import data into monday.com. If you do have any further questions, please drop me an email. My details are in the description below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you shortly in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.